Hey, this is Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com, and this is a brief tutorial on using Malwarebytes anti-malware. Probably one of the best, if not the best, anti-malware scanning tools available on the internet today, and it's free. It will perform your scans, it will remove, reboot for you, whatever it needs to do, but you can purchase the program for $24.95 for a couple extra features, which we'll go into right now as we work our way through these tabs briefly. Right here under the protection tab, which is why it's there, you would need to have purchased the program for the protection, would allow the program to run down in your tray and start up and protect your system 24-7. It also will allow malicious site protection, scanner and update schedule, as well as customer service. Your update is great if you want to check manually for updates. You can also hop on over to their Facebook page there. Why not? They're great guys. We just got to hang out with them in uh, Vegas recently, actually, and I'm not allowed to say anything beyond that. So. So let's forget I said that. Quarantine, yeah. Uh, and here in the quarantine, you can simply remove anything that's already found and delete it in your logs. This will simply keep all the log files by default. Malwarebytes will save a log and display the log when you're done scanning. Your ignore list is great if you've got anything on your system that is being detected as bad but you know is not. Simply click Add, find your way over to whatever it is you want to add in. Settings, most of these you can leave alone. I, I check Terminate Internet Explorer during threat removal, primarily because you should close everything before you do a scan anyway. Uh, I have also unchecked the log files because I am not going to upload them to, say, the Major Geeks forum where somebody asked to see your log files. And the warrant if the database is outdated, leave that on because you want the most updated database. Scanner settings for memory startup registry file system. See all this? Leave it alone. Leave it all checked. You want to do as much of an in-depth scan as you can. And your updater settings, which again is download and install if updated. The proxy server stuff you're going to need if your ISP is giving you issues. It's pretty rare on uh, broadband internet nowadays. File Assassin can help you unlock files that are in use that are malware, which is very, very common and may help you remove some malware that Malwarebytes is having difficulty with. And finally, your About tab, you have a link to their page, a link to the help, the version, a little disclaimer, etc. You can always find the register and purchase buttons here in the bottom. So again, we go back to the scanner. All we need to do here is decide how we want to scan. The quick scan is my recommendation. It's been very, very effective for me. The full scan is kind of neat. Once you click this, it's going to allow you to select all your different drives. Uh, these are my media drives, but my D drive is a secondary hard drive and I run some games off it so I might want to scan it in the full scan. That's where this comes in handy. It also takes a lot longer. But your basic perform quick scan is what you need. Your flash scan, again, this is one of the features you're going to need to purchase for, so that's up to you. Performing the quick scan, you simply click your scan and you can walk away, get yourself a cup of coffee, whatever you want to do. Malwarebytes is very, very effective at removing any problems that it finds without rebooting into safe mode, which is very, very common for a lot of programs. Uh, there are some tricky malware out there now that's really causing it a little more difficulty. If you want to do that, all you need to simply do is hit start and go to your shutdown, restart your computer. As your computer comes back up, simply wait to just before the flash screen. Just sit there and tap your F8 key. It's the easiest way to do it. And you'll, a little window will come up and ask you what you want to do. Your choices are safe mode, safe mode with networking. So pick either safe mode or safe mode with networking. What that does is it disables all your drivers, all your startup items, and lets Windows load minimal. Now you can run malware bytes. And this would probably be great for some of those full scans. So, But otherwise, try from Windows. See how it works for you. It'll, it'll offer to reboot, and then you can scan again. It's usually your best bet. Scan, reboot, scan again to make sure it got it. And if it didn't, you might want to go into the F8 idea that I just suggested you to go into safe mode and then do a complete full scan from there. I'm going to abort this for now just to give you a general idea of how the program works. And there you go, there's your brief tutorial, Malware Bytes Any Malware. You can download this at MajorGeeks.com. The fastest way to find it would be to look to our left side to our top downloads. You'll find Malware Bytes Anti-Malware always in the top 10, if not number 1. So check it out. You need this tool on your machine. We'll talk to you next time.